The Cowboys offense had a dominant performance in week eight. With Dak Prescott healthy, Dallas isn't going to have to rely on their defense to carry them for most games. And so as they reach their potential in both phases, I think you're going to see people start to talk about the Cowboys as a legitimate Super Bowl contender, one of the top five teams in the NFL. The first half of this video, we're going to break down the running game. And then the second half, we'll talk about the passing game. This first play is inside zone. So you get a double team on the nose tackle with Zach Martin and Tyler Biadesh who had a great game by the way. And then Terrence Steele's gonna climb to the second level and block Jaquan Brisker. But you've got Dalton Schultz trying to block this defensive end and they're both taking an inside step right at the beginning of the play. And so Terrence Steele does a great job jamming him outside, which gives Dalton Schultz an easier angle to secure the reach block. Next play, they're running wide zone. And one of the most effective ways to counter zone runs to the outside is to slant the defensive line because in wide zone, the offensive line is essentially moving in unison. And so they want the defense to flow towards the play side so they can pick up these reach blocks and overtakes. But Dallas does a great job picking up this slant. Tyler Smith angles back, helps the left guard secure the reach block and then gets to the second level. And then you got Ferguson and Peyton Hendershot creating a wide open gap for Tony Pollard. The Cowboys tight ends played a huge role in their rushing game against Chicago. Having Hendershot, Schultz, and Ferguson all fully healthy allowed them to use a lot more heavy personnel. Through the first seven weeks, the Cowboys ran the ball 11 times out of 13 personnel, meaning three tight ends, and they gained 28 yards. But in week eight, they ran the ball eight times out of 13 personnel and gained 104 yards and three touchdowns. So having three capable blocking tight ends allows them to lean into the run game a lot more effectively. This is another zone play, Malik Davis in the backfield now. Really nice job by Tyler Smith climbing to the second level and sealing off Roquan. And then the key block on this play is Dalton Schultz with the backside catch hand, flushes out the end man and opens up the cutback lane for Malik Davis. This is a really nice play design, fake the jet sweep into the read option, and then Dalton Schultz leading the way for Dak Prescott to score a touchdown. Next play, we got a tight end screen to Peyton Hendershot with the other two tight ends blocking for him. Jake Ferguson still has a ways to go as a run blocker, especially when it comes to sustaining blocks, but really good job after the catch to get the first down here by Peyton Hendershot. Dak Prescott gained 24 yards on this QB sneak, and I went back and checked on Sports Info Solutions, and that's the biggest gain since 2014 on a quarterback sneak, which probably says more about the Bears defense, but still a nice play. And then next play, Tony Pollard is able to punch it into the end zone. The most impressive aspect of his game to me is the way that he's able to string moves together so seamlessly. He transitions from avoiding this first tackle right into a juke on Eddie Jackson. I've said this before, but there's just no justification for not giving Tony Pollard significantly more carries than Ezekiel Elliott. This plot shows every individual running back season in PFF's database and Tony Pollard is currently having the best season of all time, according to PFF's metrics at least. Last run that we're gonna look at is Tony Pollard's final touchdown run. The Cowboys are running counter, but instead of having Zach Martin pull through the B gap, he leads outside the numbers. Great block from Jake Ferguson here. At this point, he's not in a great position in terms of leverage, but when you have your hands inside like Jake Ferguson does, it makes it so much easier to redirect blocks and he's able to basically just bench press him out of the play. Tony Pollard breaks an arm tackle and then he outruns Jaquan Brisker for a touchdown. On to the passing game. First play that we're gonna look at, we got Michael Gallup on Kyler Gordon, press man. Really nice job getting upfield with this jab step. A lot of times you'll see receivers take a wide horizontal jab step but they don't do anything to attack the space between themselves and the defender. So he gets Kyler Gordon back on his heels, which causes him to miss his punch. And then the exact same thing from this play later in the game, matched up with Kendall Vildor, outside jab step, but he gets upfield, which forces Vildor's weight displacement backwards, and he creates separation on the slant. Next up, we got C.D. Lamb working from the slot. Really good job on this wipe technique as he's getting upfield to prevent Kyler Gordon from getting back in phase. And then he extends the arm just enough on the route break to not draw a penalty, but create enough separation to convert the third down. I really like the design on this play. The Cowboys are running sail, which is a pretty vanilla concept, but there's a lot of different ways to get into it. The basic components of sail, you've got a vertical route down the sideline, an intermediate route to the outside, and then a flat route coming underneath it. They're in slot formation with a relatively narrow split from CD Lamb to create a lot of space on the outside. And the most important part of this play is that he gets an inside release on the hook defender. So he passes off CD's route inside, assuming that it's a seam or a dig or whatever. And and then he takes the first to the flat, but that widens him out and creates a window for Dak Prescott. 
Last play that we're gonna talk about is actually two plays, and it's a perfect example of how you can string play calls together throughout the course of a game to manipulate a defense. So play number one is a toss to Turpin, basically just lead toss, but he motions from the backside of the formation. Really good way to get him the ball with speed built up and blockers in front of him. And then play number two, they fake the toss and run a boot in the opposite direction. And so showing the end man on the line of scrimmage a play that he's seen earlier in the game, that gets him to flow horizontally away from the rollout out, and then he isn't in any position to affect Dak Prescott as he's getting rid of the ball. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any players or teams that you like me to cover.